Hey guys, welcome to this session by IntelliPart. HTML and WordPress are the biggest names whenever we talk about web development and creation of websites, right? Well, each of these tools have their own importance in today's world. But more than that, there is a subtle difference that lies in between HTML and WordPress. Now, keeping that in mind, we here at IntelliPart have come up with this comparison video where we put HTML head on with WordPress and compare the same. But then guys, before we begin with the session, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you'll never miss any updates from us. Now, coming to the agenda of the session, we'll start out by taking a quick introduction to understand what HTML is. After that, we'll check out uh, a quick look at what WordPress is and of course, why we require WordPress. After that, we're going to discuss a variety of points to understand the differences that lie uh, in between HTML and WordPress itself. And of course, guys, if you're looking for any sort of certification in HTML, make sure to check out the latest offerings uh, on the IntelliPath website. Uh, there should be a link in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. And of course, now without further ado, let's start the class. So coming to the first point on the agenda of this HTML versus WordPress comparison video, we have to take a look at the introduction to HTML. Well, if you're at this video, there's a very good chance you already might know what HTML is, right? It's one of the world's most popular uh, markup languages out there. If you take a look at the websites of the world, you realize that we have tens of thousands of websites today, correct? Well, when you look at it, all of these websites or most of these websites might have something to do uh, with HTML in that uh, particular regard and HTML is actually an abbreviation that stands for hypertext markup language so whenever we talk about markup languages I think again uh, you know HTML is the uh, one name that definitely takes uh, center stage so what happens in HTML is that uh, you know we make use of these entities called as tags and then we have elements. Uh, we have standard words which we use to go on to write uh, certain code which you know uh, goes on to build the foundation of a website. Now on the three things that you see in the bottom, we have something called foundation, we have aesthetics and functionality. Well, HTML cannot do all of this completely. Uh, it mostly focuses on the foundation part of creating a website, you know, putting the basic scaffolding up is what HTML does. And then when you think about aesthetic, we have another tool which is very popular which goes hand in hand with HTML that is CSS right cascading style sheets that is responsible for the design of a website and then we have functionality whenever you have something on the front end uh, you know for example if you want to have a button click and then the button click has to do something you're going to require to program the button uh, such that when someone clicks on it or, or does an activity it has to do something right for that we make use of JavaScript so in this particular regard for a completely working website it takes HTML CSS and a little bit of JavaScript but then now uh, coming to the introduction to what WordPress is, right? So WordPress is one of the world's most popular free and open source uh, CMS tool. CMS is basically content management system, which we use to go on to create websites. So you might have seen a lot of blogs or websites, which uh, really would not take a lot of code or programming to begin with, but then they're really aesthetic, uh, you know, and the content is really good. And one can go on to uh, push a new content, pull old content, modify all of this in a very nice and structured way. And at the end of the day, it's it's free, right? It's open source, of course. So who uses WordPress? Well, 40% of all the website in today's world uses WordPress in one way or another. That's how extremely popular uh, WordPress is. Of course, one being it's open source, two being it has a lot of drag and drop uh, functionalities and a lot more. And then when we're thinking about building a website from scratch, I think WordPress gets an upper hand because here you get a lot of themes, a lot of plugins to add a lot of functionality. You can go on to uh, create a basic website if that's your requirement. But then at the end of the day, if you want to scale it up quickly with more aesthetic and more functionality that is possible too and of course it's really easy to install and working with and of course most of the hosting sites will make sure that you know WordPress is already installed to begin with itself so you really don't have to break your head in terms of either using it in terms of uh, worrying about extensibility or in terms of even installing it too so all of these are served to you uh, on a platter so coming to the actual comparison points between HTML and WordPress, the first point we should talk about is coding skills. So you might have a question saying, do I require coding skills for HTML or WordPress? Well, let me tell you this HTML does require you to have some sort of an experience in programming or coding because at the end of the day, 
So when you're writing all of this code and when you when you're programming the functioning aspect of a website, you do require coding, right? It's a markup language. You need to know how to approach the language and work with it. So coding is required for HTML. And then when you're talking about WordPress, no WordPress. Uh, it's it's really okay if you do not have any sort of programming skill. You can get started with WordPress, and uh, because most of the time it's all drag and drop facilities. It's all very intuitive with a very good user interface in a way where you really do not have to code. If you wish to code, uh, then of course there are possibilities for that. But do you need to code? Ninety nine point nine percent. The answer to that is going to be no. And the second point in comparison is ease of use. So which one is easier to use? See, HTML can be considered a little hard to use because it contains a lot of uh, you know lengthy scripts, and with lengthy scripts uh, come bugs, there come errors, there comes uh, exceptions, and a lot of it, right? So this can get a little overwhelming for beginners to get started with. But then of course, with good training on both HTML and WordPress, you guys can overcome this. But at the uh, you know direct comparison between WordPress, because WordPress uh, is very intuitive, it's extremely easy to use. There is a lot of drag and drop facilities and features that you know you, you really don't require kind of a complex approach to learning wordpress to begin with so in that particular case i think wordpress uh, wins this round in comparison between html and then when we're talking about you starting a project and wondering what to pick right so in that particular case the html will require you to uh, completely code everything from scratch right uh, you just have an idea to take the idea into a prototype every single line of code you write for your website you must start from the beginning and you must complete it and all of this thing is is complete code right you started from scratch but then with wordpress this is a beautiful thing because you have thousands of ready made templates that are available you can use any one of that that you think fits uh, for the for the theme that you're going for for the product you're going for for the story you're building and then you know just start with your content so you can give more time to your content rather than wondering uh, and spending a lot of time uh, to actually go on to beautify uh, the content on the website right that's something extremely important and then talking about usability see usability is something you should be wondering about because in the case of html you will require additional programming skills and languages right see as i told you html is a part of building a website you require css you require javascript and all of that right so to add more dynamism to your project there's versions of html there's html5 for example uh, you know there's so many things that you'll have to learn which complements your requirement for uh, you know what's ahead but then in the case of wordpress yes uh, you know for here to scale up as well Uh, you have something called plugins, and with plugins and add-ons, you can uh, you know go on to use uh, the complete power uh, of what WordPress can offer to the developer and more. But at the end of the day, uh, more amount of learning goes into HTML, and uh, with WordPress, of course, there's good amount of computing power, there's good amount of efficiency. But uh, but you really don't have to push that much of learning. Is my point here? And then coming to point number five, it's the learning curve. So, what is more easier to learn? What is more uh, difficult to get started with? Right? See, there's no easy and difficult out here, but I do have to mention that HTML will have a steeper learning curve because, uh, again, you have to start everything from scratch. Right? You have to learn the foundation of HTML. You have to know how a markup language works. You have to know all the tags. You have to know how to work with these tags. You have to you have to know a lot of things and you have to begin somewhere. But with WordPress, you can get started without having to uh, program anything from scratch. In that particular regard, your learning curve will be a little poor. It will be a little, uh, you know, easier to climb. Because whatever you have learned will have a huge impact on the result that you see on your screen. So you're not really putting in, let's say, ten hours worth of learning to do a task which takes thirty minutes. In that particular case, uh, you know, it might happen to HTML in that regard. But in the in in the case of WordPress, that does not happen. And then coming to point number six, we have to talk about maintenance, right? So, see, uh, whenever you're changing anything in your website, it's not like you've made a website and it's going to remain the same for next five years, right? Uh, in that particular case, your website keeps changing, the content keeps changing, the layout can keep changing. So many things can change as per the requirement. In that particular case, HTML will require little to no maintenance if you're considering uh, a website which is built based on static content. In that case, of course, it's very easy to maintain. You really don't have to do anything apart from hosting and working on your website. Itself. but with wordpress right see wordpress uh, you know every couple of months there are new features and new versions coming out and every time there are major changes in these versions you will have to spend a good amount of time understanding what the changes are how you can leverage them how best can you use them and of course all of this is again going to cost you some time and if you have hired a person to do it for you it's going to cost the company some money as well so in that particular regard in terms of maintainability i think html uh, wins this particular round 
and then coming to the hosting cost right see html is actually relatively cheaper to maintain because it it really does not require a lot of storage uh, to hold the uh, basic scaffolding structure of your website nor uh, does it take a lot of space in terms of memory or in terms of compute power for functionality but with wordpress what happens is that uh, you know see there's so many things in wordpress that that's going to add to your cost it's going to add into a lot of requirements of a good computing power that's going to add to a lot of costs because of uh, its requirement for good computation machine the hosting is going to be a little expensive because it takes more space and if you want to download all the themes and add-ons again that requires more space right so in that particular regard i think in terms of saving a little bit of money on hosting cost i think html and it's working of course uh, is the reason why html would win this round and then coming to point number eight, we have to talk about the other features that are present in these tools, right? See, for example, HTML has a lot of features that you can uh, use, uh, which is built in, of course. But then if you want to add something else, you can do so by directly working with the source code by monkeying around with the code, uh, you know, without having to install something, without having to create a package, without having to use some sort of a dependency out there. But with WordPress, it's a little different because WordPress at the end of the day works very differently from HTML in a way that uh, when you're talking about security, when you're talking about SEO well WordPress does it really better than HTML because that's how it's built right and of course what's your requirement at the end of the day it's a good website so you would of course pick up a tool that would definitely give you some sort of a help with terms of search engine optimization and of course security as well right so in that particular uh, kind of a usage I really think WordPress wins this round and then coming to the computation aspect of uh, things, see HTML is built differently in a way where it does not require a lot of computational resources at all. But even with it uh, being very lightweight, it is considered to be relatively slow in terms of efficiency. But with WordPress, it's very different. See WordPress of course requires a decent amount of compute capabilities, but in this particular case, it is very much efficient and it's very much powerful when you directly compare it to HTML. Of course, yes, it requires more compute power, but if it's more efficient, efficient and it requires more compute power it means that it has something to offer in terms of results that is way more efficient than what html can that particular regard i think wordpress has the upper hand here and then coming to the last point in this comparison, it's developer salary. Well, HTML developers get paid around $95,000 in USA and around 6 lakhs uh, per annum in India. And of course, all of this depends on the skills, past experiences, certification, and a lot more. Similarly, WordPress developers get paid around $80,000 in USA and around 5 lakhs per annum, depending on how good the developer is when you're working with WordPress. Because be it HTML or be it WordPress, things can get a little complex if you're working on a big project. So based on all of that the compensations do vary but the average but the numbers you see on your screen are the average salaries uh, in the current trend so coming to the last point on the agenda i am sure you're wondering about which one you should pick right well to answer this uh, you know to give you one answer that holds true for all is not going to be possible because see it depends on your interests See, uh, if you are very much inclined towards building, let's say, small websites, which, uh, which, where you know the content doesn't change often, or you do not require any sort of dynamic content, or that you know you want a simple website, maybe uh, you know it's just an online journal that you're keeping, or something where it really doesn't require any sort of hardcore programming capabilities. Right? In that particular case, you would definitely want to consider HTML. But when would you want to pick up WordPress? You want to pick up WordPress when you want, uh, you know, a large amount of control about what happens on your site you know where what element is present what seo features are you getting what security methodologies are being in implemented how easy is it to use how is the user interface how can you drive the user experience better and of course you will get a lot of analytics through wordpress as well so in that particular case if this is your requirement you would pick up wordpress but if you require an easy to use a simple website that you want to start working on from scratch html would be your go-to tool we hope this comparison video between HTML and WordPress was of great help for you guys. If you think there are any more points you want to add, any suggestions, any content requests, make sure to head down to the comment section and do let us know. We'll be more than happy to help there. On that note, I hope all of you are keeping safe. I wish you well and I'll see you on the next one.